Oh, yeah. that's more inclusive. There we go, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, thank you. We can all learn from each other. No. So if Justin Trudeau met someone called Guy Manson, he'd have to refer to him as person, person, person. Let that sink in. But wait, we already have a gender-neutral term for mankind. Humankind. Whoa, 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 bigots. That's got man in it. Humankind. Hugh people cat. No, that doesn't work. That's one small step for people. One People. People kind. The people kind cringe fest wasn't even the most annoying thing about this event. Someone asked him how he was going to stop ISIS jihadists returning to Canada. I need to know how you're going to protect future Canadians, like my young daughter, and you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now, when you're letting people in with an ideology that just does not conform to what we're doing here. And he banged on for five solid minutes about diversity being a strength. We have been open to people fleeing persecution. Yeah, so how are you going to stop ISIS? Syrian refugees. Yeah, we, we know you love refugees, Justin. Now, how are you going to stop ISIS? Refugees. How are you going to stop ISIS? Integration. Thank you very much for your question. It's at this point that you realize Trudeau actually sees ISIS terrorists as refugees and wants to reintegrate them into society. Oh wait, he actually said that. The Liberal Party believes terrorists should get to keep their Canadian citizenship. Because I do. His party even refused to vote for a symbolic motion condemning ISIS. Why bother policing ISIS when you can just police Canadians' free speech, eh, Justin? Be nice. Who has time to worry about Islamic terrorists when gender pronouns are being disrespected? And besides, maybe the ISIS jihadists will just deport themselves. The budget will balance itself. The budget will balance itself. The floor is Trudeau's grasp of Austrian economics. Oh yeah, and speaking of the budget, $3,600 a month for Muslim refugees. The allowance these Syrian refugees receive is $1,500 per month. They also receive a $2,100 a month Canada child benefit for a total of $3,600 Per month. And those wounded Canadian veterans, well, they can just go fuck themselves. You have ISIL or ISIS members coming into a reintegration program. What veterans were you talking about? Was the ones that fought for the freedoms and values that you so proudly boast about, or was it the ones who fought against? I was prepared to be killed in action. What I wasn't prepared for, Mr. Prime Minister, is Canada ha turning its back on me? Syrian refugees. But forget mankind. People kind. This is a guy who gets triggered by describing honor killings as barbaric. The use of a word as pejorative as barbaric has more of an opportunity to set someone's hackles up. How are you going to stop honor killings, Justin? Refugees. Dude sits like he has balls the size of atoms. No, that's just a one-off picture. No, 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 no. Tiny balls. Be nice. The virgin sit versus the chat spread. You must have seen this one before, right? He walks across the entire room and no one wants to talk to him. And then... The ultimate display of cuckoldry. The virgin man bag versus the Chad backslap. <laughs> yeah, just shut up, Justin. No one cares. When your attempt at a handshake has more soy in it than a two-litre carton of Alpro, probably not best to be picking fights with Putin. When your own wife is literally trying to cuck you out on live TV chat shows. Because you're very handsome. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> Kiss him. Uh... I, I think because... Probably time to reduce the tofu intake. And isn't it funny, given how he's such a staunch male feminist? I'm a feminist. Justin seems to save his most aggressive testosterone outbursts for elbowing women in the tits. Watch this. The man in the front is the Conservative whip. He can't get by a group of NDP MPs, including leader Tom Mulcair. On the left, the Prime Minister comes striding over to intervene. He has words with Mulcair. At the same time, he clearly also makes contact with MP Ruth Ellen Brosseau. Oh yeah, that story got glossed over pretty quick, didn't it? What's this fucking dumb thing with the socks? Why is he always showing his socks? Look at me, I have woke socks. I'm a good person. Aren't I a good person? 
I'm virtuous. Aren't I virtuous? I wear Ramadan socks. I love Muslims. I mean, I am arming Saudi Arabia to the teeth so they can slaughter little Yemeni Muslim children in the streets. But them socks, though. There's so much virtue signalling on his Twitter page. He makes J.K. Rowling and Lily Allen look like rank amateurs. Zood thinks immigrants belong in Canada more than actual native Canadians. Virgin commie worshipper versus Chad commie killer really makes you think. The liberal leader pray China for its dictatorship. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. What's next, Justin? I mean, North Korea really is doing its bit to keep down those carbon emissions you hate so much. Are you gonna hail their Stalinist dictatorship as a beacon of progressivism? That would be very current year. Because it's 2015. Trudeau is always apologizing. Apologizing for calling someone a piece of shit. I unreservedly apologize. Apologizing for elbowing a woman. Apologizing for Canada not allowing Indians to emigrate a hundred years ago. He even apologized for this. Yet the one apology apology he's yet to make would probably come too late anyway. Well done, Justin. You've turned Canada into North America's Sweden. You've turned Canada into a nation that, in your own words, has no core identity. You've turned Canada into a meme. People kind. <laughs>